Hey y'all, it's the uh, Plant Papa here. So, I've just started what is going to be a three to four day hiking adventure. I am doing what they call the Triple Crown of Canmore. It includes three hikes, obviously, which uh, includes Highling Peak, East End of Rundle, and Lady MacDonald. And you can see I'm huffing and puffing already. I decided to come up the hill. I, can't, I decided to come up the hill a little bit because there was a lot of road noise at the bottom there. And uh, so it's a it's an uphill uphill climb all the way to the top. It doesn't give you any uh, any easy stuff right off the get go. So, anyways, we're starting the Triple Crown of Canmore, and hopefully there will be some epic views. And uh, let's get going. We are beginning on the east end of Rundle right here. A hike I've never done before. It's a really hot day, so it's gonna be interesting to say the least. But uh, lots of water around if I just kind of spin around. Oops, there we go. See the lake there. So I'm just gonna follow some people that know where they're going because I don't. Just see uh, the town of Canmore just over there and over to my right that is High Ling which I will be attempting with my family in a couple of days. The trailhead is back over that way. Alrighty so I know we're a mile up the trail but boy she is so hot there's a lot of sections where we're exposed to the uh, the elements <clears throat> dry hopefully I have enough water but uh, yeah I'm just following some people who know the trail better than I do <clears throat> oh, but she's hard it's all uphill and you're exposed a lot and it's very hot Probably about 28 Celsius right now and we're supposed to be going to 30 so I'm just trying to take a lot of breaks in the shade where I can find it and uh, just try not to overheat. Okay, let's smell. Now I just have to get up here. And at the official top, the east end of Rundle. Beautiful views up here. Check it out. Whew. Well, <clears throat> just having a little snack. I got no food on my face. Uh, you can see I'm just about at the top. Pretty difficult hike. Definitely not for the faint of heart, and I wouldn't call this a family friendly hike at all. We're pretty much in shale right now as you get to the top. So, yeah, pretty hard hike. It's not a long hike, it's just so straight up right from the get go. <clears throat> And uh, a lot of shale, loose rocks, cliffs. All right, so I'm gonna keep going. Made it. Made it to the top. Woo! Woo wee! 
is some kind of scary drop right here. Oh boy. Look at that. Yikes. I don't want to get too close to that edge, let me tell you. So, down there, that is the town of Canmore. On the other side, is the other hike I was talking about, Lady McDonald is somewhere over there. Ooh -wee. We are up here. It's almost kind of scary getting too close to this ledge. Yikes! That is like down there. Man, this ledge right here, I gotta tell ya. That is some kind of scary. <laughs> Anyways, whew, she's hot. Very difficult hike, and now I gotta get my way back down. Whew. I believe I am on what they call the flat of the uh, east end of Rundle. There's the peak up there. Now, somewhere up there. I'm not sure which part is the actual peak. My first time up here, so I'm not really sure of the trail. It's not a very well marked trail. As you can see, 360 views. Quite gorgeous. Anyways, I'm gonna pan back down here. This is kind of this little flat area here, and I believe they call this the flat. This is where you just kind of chill out and take in the views. So that's what I'm doing. So there is what uh, we call the Bow Valley. But, uh, it's unfortunate that there's a little bit of haze in the sky. I don't know if that's smoke. I know there's a few forest fires in Alberta. There's a little bit of smoke perhaps in the skies, but pretty nice views up here. So I'm just uh, making my way down and as you can see, a lot of this kind of stuff. It's a bit of a trail for the most part. You make your own trail. views though the sky is actually cleared a little bit to the uh, west here Whew. Well, we're still making our way down. We just uh, had to come down this uh, this face right here. Basically, you just got to crouch down low, have one hand on the side of the rocks, and make sure you're leaning into the cliff so you don't fall down that way, which would be very bad for your health. You can kind of see what we're dealing with here. It's uh, not much of a hiking trail, to say the least. This is the trail right here, but then you have to go up this. So there's a lot of scrambling to go. Yeah, a lot of scrambling going on. Definitely a difficult trail. One of the harder ones I've done. Anyways, keep on moving. Now well, we got another bit of a little cliff here to go down, and then there's the trail again. But it's a lot of the scrambling on this trail. This looks more like a slide rather than a trail. Definitely gotta be careful here. 
That is slick. If that were to get wet, yikes. Finally in the midst of the trees. A little cooler in here, but she is hot. When I was here this morning, that parking lot was almost full. Now it is a very hot day, so maybe a lot of people went hiking in the morning and that's why there's not very many people out here now, but uh, heck, even the parking lot has some beautiful views. And check that out. So after I go hiking, this is where I like to come and uh, take a little dip in the water. If you look down there, way under that bridge, you can see a bunch of rafts coming in. Should be kind of cool. I'm going to take a dip before they get here. Whew. All right, so I just got sufficiently wet. Whew, that was cold. It was good after 33 degrees Celsius hiking day, though. But here comes a bunch of rafts I want to show you guys. It's going to be cool. So if you ever come to visit in Canada, not only can you do some amazing hikes, but you could do a little whitewater rafting. Now you're probably thinking, where's the whitewater? Well, it was further back. This is the drop-off point. They're, they're done. Now they're just having a little playtime, spinning the raft, making people fall off. Fun times. Here's another group coming in. Apparently they're having a good time. That's very daring. I wouldn't do it. I'll go for a swim, but I'm not jumping off that bridge. Anyways, that is a wrap for today. That is uh, the east side of Mount Rundle. Very difficult hike. The road back here behind me, quite rough. It's a very rough road, it's not paved very washboardy so keep that in mind when you come up here 